All right. I got my uh, scrap run done. Uh, about 1,700 pounds, something like that. $109. Oh, we ain't there now. That branch right there, and there was a hawk sitting over there, but he ain't there now. He hangs around here quite a bit. I've got to figure out what is leaking on this van. Radiator's full. Radiator reserve tank is full. I have no idea. No idea. I am confused. <clears throat> then I had barbecue chicken legs the other night. So I put the bones in the garbage can here. And there was a bone on top of the garbage can. And there was a pile of bones right there where the big spot is. <coughs> so the lid was shut. But I do see little chewy marks there and chewy marks here. But here's the problem. There is one bag. Just tore up in there. So it had to be like a raccoon or something. A squirrel. A squirrel ain't going to come over here and pick this heavy lid up. And then jump in there. Have the lid shut. And then be able to climb back out and push the lid up to get back out. So it had to be a raccoon or something. So, tonight I'm going to put uh, some bricks on top of there. I'll show his ass. Can't even throw my trash away. Oh. So, I had to go pick up a washer. Um, it was on the guy's back porch. I'm not even going to take it out of the van because it's not worth scrapping out. For the motor. He took the motor out of it. So, there are one of them front loaders, but they got those big counterweights on the top of the the uh, thingy majigger and on the bottom, so it's got a lot of weight to it. So, I went to the scrap, well, let me back up. I went to the, the bank first, um, had to get a new card, <coughs> got that, got my, uh, um, and <coughs> take a couple dollars out. And I paid that stupid freaking fine. Got that done, so I'm technically have nothing else to do with that property. Uh, went to the scrapyard, unloaded the stuff, picked up that washer, and I'm gonna do an experiment on these transformers. Um, I think they're kind of high priced for scrap value, but we'll see. Um, I, I can buy these for 50 cents a pound. So, like this one here is probably about six bucks. Just to buy it like that. <clears throat> uh, I did this once before. And I think I came out like, I don't know, three dollars a head. Or something. On, uh, the total. But I don't remember if it was just, if it was just one or if it was, you know, a couple. But I only want the ones that I can smack with a hammer. So, I might tinker with those and figure out um, if I won or lost on that. Uh, and then they didn't have very many computers. They only had maybe like six, if that. <coughs> uh, super slow there. They said they've had four people there all day. So, I came, the yard was empty. One truck pulled in um, when I was there. And then I was there for probably 45 minutes, you know, digging through all the boxes and stuff. And it was one truck pulling in when I left, so. I don't know. <coughs> and got my three tanks filled. So I have gas. Um, yeah, I said it was just a, maybe like six computers back there. <coughs> and I think two laptops or something. So. So I don't know. Oh, and then this box here. So, he actually gave me a deal on this stuff. So, and then this was in another box. So I grabbed that out. So, we'll strip that for Bear Bright. Uh, 
this was in the 45% uh, box and this one here was in the 45% box so we'll strip that too so yeah there's all kind of crap in here um, just like 200 bucks for all this and I don't remember what the weight was because um, they took this and weighed it and me and the yard manager were in the back <coughs> talking shit Oh, I don't know what I paid for that. Or how much it weighed. I know what I paid for it. So, and then I talked to my yard manager about these. Um, he said, unfortunately, I have to take those off. But it's not a big deal. Like I said, you just heat these up real quick and they slide off. Um, he said, this stuff here, like that has a board on it. So, we'll just take that board off. But he said, the, the little slimy stuff, if I can get, a, you know, most of it off, the rest would be fine. And that'll would go as number two copper, so and there you go. So managed to get that done. And uh, I was gonna take this off of here because these are copper, but I ain't got time to sit here and screw around with that crap. Oh, here's the stuff I took to them. So, but yeah, take those off, and these are fine, you know. So that can go in the number two bucket, along with the. Uh, yeah, just this one for now. <clears throat> and then I showed them that's what they are. You know, I said they still... I didn't take this one with me. I forgot it. But I told them that there's three legs that stick up on top of that. So, so now I know. <clears throat> now I know. So, yeah. Got everything done that I needed to do today. and Got it done uh, fairly quick. Yeah, I probably spent more time... You know, bullshitting down there with the uh, scrapyard guys. Uh, one guy's last day was today. And, you know, my manager asked me, and, oh, are you ready to come to work yet? I told him it ain't warm enough. It ain't warm enough. And they only start you out at like 15 bucks an hour. And I said, what are you going to do? Pay me in scrap? So I won't even get a paycheck. <laughs> So, I don't know, um, <clears throat> I'm going to see how the next few months go, and, uh, you know, once the weather starts staying somewhat decent, uh, then I will, uh, huh, let's see how long a piece is this. Now, go to these little junction boxes here. So, yeah, maybe I'll uh, go get a job there. Um, and then the weekends, you know, I can do this stuff. We'll see. I don't know. <clears throat> I got to uh, gotta do something. Like I said, even the other scrapyard, I got a hold of <clears throat> the guys up there this morning. And they had, like, one Gaylord box full. This is a crap old laptop. I wonder if anybody wants this. Oh, look at... How you gonna know what that is? iBook. <coughs> iBook. So, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. There it is. Look at that. Three more coppers. So, I think I'm gonna clean off this bench. I will save those uh, computers for... I'll do a live stream tomorrow because I have nothing going on. So, maybe I'll do a live stream in the morning before Raphael comes on. <clears throat> but, uh, I'll do those two, and we'll see, uh, what else we can get into. So, sorry about today, but I'm, uh, got too much other little crap to do. And like I said, it's already like 1 o'clock, so, unless I go live later, I mean... I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I want to get that unloaded. Minus the washer that's going to stay in there. I'll just push it up in the top in the corner there. And uh, I want to... I didn't get these finished yesterday. It took a big dent out of them. So I want to get these out of the way and get some other stuff done. So... Um, if I ain't live by 3, then I'm not going to go live. That's Eastern Standard Time. That way it'll be late enough to where those knuckleheads over there in the uh, UK <coughs> won't be in there bugging me. 
You know bro might be in there, though. Maybe Brissy, he don't sleep. So, got quite a bit of computer wire in there already. So, that's what we'll do. If I'm not live by 3, then I'll see you tomorrow for an hour or so. Uh, long enough to do those. And then, like I said, Raphael will be on at 3, my time. So, appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'm going to... Oh, and one more thing. This is just for HH, because every time I say I'm leaving, I, I stay for another four minutes. Um, now that I have that box, this box can go back to the company. That box I will put in a corner somewhere, maybe over there. Just move those totes. And then I can throw my wire or something in there that goes to the scrapyard. And then load that up. And when I go, and just take that in. Yeah. Or depopulate all these damn... Uh, 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 mid-grade boards but that's a lot of work and I don't want to do all that don't want to do all that so all right now I'm leaving HH recycling you clown um, those knuckleheads will probably be live tonight too it's Friday isn't it so if I'm not too busy I might pop in and say hi but I don't think I think they're that worthy of my presence <laughs> all right guys Appreciate y'all. Take care. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, I will probably see you sometime tomorrow. It'll be in the morning, like 11 o'clock or so. so take care, guys.